We are hot. We are hot and live. We are live, everybody. Welcome to People Music Live. Welcome. I'm your host, Christian J. Lynn McClure, the host with the most. And we got Mr. Pat Weston over here to my right. Yeah. Hope everybody's having a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, man. Let's get on into it. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, that was a pretty funky intro, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah, definitely funky for <laughs> sure. That is a song that was written for a very special podcast that is debuting today called Wholesome Hussies. Uh, it is starring and hosted by Alex Pruitt and Kristen Goforth. Yay, yay. Uh, so go follow them. Go check out them at Wholesome Hussies. Wholesome it's a Hussies. show that is essentially exactly kind of what the title entails. It covers things that are wholesome, but it also covers things that are just very like positive empowering for people not just not just women but people in general too because they talk like all about fucking everything across the right. board and uh we've already filmed five episodes we released the yeah, first two today that's tight um because we've, we've been sitting on them for a while and then the <clears> quarantine <throat> thing happened and we were kind of confused of what to do for a while mm -hmm. but then we just kind of were like no we should just fucking put them out like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. then we just decided to do it and then so today we dropped the first two episodes uh, I'm super excited personally. Hey. It's been a long time coming. I know Alex and Kristen are pumped too. And uh, Doll Cake in the chat is actually the co-host of that show. So hey. go check out her stream as well. So what's up, Kristen? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. And the title track is called Dream of Cheese. Dream of Cheese. <laughs> It's not, it's, not, it's not bad to have dreams of cheese. No, like, cheese is a wonderful know, thing. Cheese is good, especially with wine, you know. Good wine, you know. Good wine and cheese. I just had quesadillas. Nice. Anyway. <laughs> that uses cheese. So uh, that actually, the Wholesome Hussies is actually what inspired the playlist for today. So I came up with nine songs that are either songs that you'd like to cozy up with, lay around the house, mm -hmm. or you want to fuck. Too. <laughs> so that's the idea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so how have you been the last week, dude? Ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm good, man. Just um, chilling in the crib with the fam. You know, um, staying safe, washing my motherfucking hands, keeping my shit clean. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, wor working out, staying active, staying sexy. You know, um, I feel like this is like now the time more than ever if you're gonna focus on getting your fucking body right getting it together do it now yeah. like you don't have to have like access to like weights and a gym and stuff like that i, I mean personally i mean i knew i was gonna I'm, I'm in love with fucking working out so <laughs> i'm investing like weights and i'm investing like a weight rack and shit like that sure. just because i love working out at the crib i don't have to worry about going to the gym or fucking the ego lifting and then it's like the the memberships the highest yeah. fucking memberships when i could really just go buy my own shit really the only thing with a gym is like they just give you access to more shit and you have the social environment but yeah uh, yeah the social you know, thing always turns me off a little yeah. bit because i'm like i don't mind working out with people like if, right. if i like with friends or something like i'll work out with my girlfriend we've worked out a couple times together like mm -hmm. i'll work out with david every now and again too yeah like it's all good like that's fine but when it's just like other people like I'm, it's cool. I know you're intense, but don't come up to me and be like, right. "Nice, bro." And I'll be like, "Okay, unless you're." Gonna Can I work this set with you, bro? Yeah, and I'm like, ah, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. I don't know. I I'm more introverted that way. I right. Guess, but, but no, I completely There's nothing agree wrong with, with you. that. And like, no, I like I, uh, we were saying just before we uh, went live is that like we've all been David, you and I have all been sort of like keeping active and yeah. trying to stay in shape during this. Like, I mean, because once this quarantine is over, which it will be over, it will end. We don't fucking know when it's going to end, but it's not going to last forever. <laughs> can't, right? It can't last forever. That's fucking like if we do what we're supposed to do, wash your fucking hands, stay the fucking home. Do, do they were shit, saying it might be know. a seasonal thing. Like it might be. I could like see that. I could yeah. see that. I mean, I feel like summertime is going to burn a lot of shit out. You know, it's going to be super fucking so. hot. You know, I hope, that's um, a, I hope you're right. Me too, because my dirty 30 is, you know, I'd really like to go to Vegas and the coronavirus <laughs> Every, is fucking yeah, my no, shit up. I get that. <laughs> no, fucking man. my shit up, Rona. Dude, you know? I had four shows set up, and uh, one of them was already, uh, was on the second. Yeah. It was on my mom's birthday, too. And I'm a little bummed about that, because I low-key planned on asking David to live stream it for my mom. Mm, <laughs> like, see. Because it was her birthday and everything, but uh, it got canceled, obviously. 
Uh, I could have still live streamed for my mom, but right. I was really depressed, so I didn't think about that until half, after hindsight. But you know, I mean, it, it, right now. It, it it'll blow over. You know, no, now is yeah. now is the time more than ever to like be. If you're, you know, a creative, you know, do your shit, like, you know, stock up on your, you know, your stockpile on your creativity, you know, whether it be like music or, you know, scripts or writing or film or whatever, you know, like hone in on your shit, like mm -hmm. stay active. You, you got Stay sexy, man. Let's let's get the fuck off the couch. Like put yeah. put the, the put the donuts down. You're already down, home. You know? You're yeah. gonna watch TV. It's that's fine. gonna happen. That's you're irrelevant. Gonna it. But you get make, to and you're allowed take to take an hour, an yeah. hour, just one hour, forty five minutes. Fuck, yeah. you could fucking sweat in twenty minutes, twenty five minutes. You know, work out during this. While every time we put on music, do workouts. You don't have to, but do it. <laughs> it's like, come on, uh, uh, <laughs> we did push ups like right before we went on. Like, yeah, so, we did, yeah. Okay, we have a we have a dumbbell over there too. We're doing some yeah. curls. <laughs> Thirty five is too heavy for me to curl right now. Uh, uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, yeah, I got them guns, working. dude. Yeah, man. So. All right, dude. So we're let's jump into the first playlist. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Please yes. think of some questions to ask us. In the Please chat. do. Yeah, we, type uh, we'd love in, to ask you know? We actually have a question from last time. Okay. That we did not answer, so we can answer that one. Yeah, when yeah, we yeah, come yeah. Back from the first. Whether one. it be people, music, life, or you know, all that in between, send them questions. You know what I mean? Fire it off. Let's hear it. All right, boop, boop, and the boop. first song starts now. We're still talking. It's okay. Yeah, it's all good. You know. I always like the idea. Yeah, like they do on radio. Where <laughs> they talk for a second. And you're like, oh, cool. I have nothing to say, though, so I'm just being super meta about it. All right, everybody, do it.
my DMs now I'm sneaking in my DMs now We freaking in my DMs In my DMs Happens on a daily Bitches acting crazy all up on Instagram Not caring who I am So I'ma take a chance This is not romance I just wanna fuck I just wanna get my night Let me open up my eyes This is what happens when I fantasize Chilling here with my wife Now we gon' fuck tonight I am This next one's extra cozy for you.
Christian. Uh, how you feeling? I'm blessed, man. Doing good. That's good, man. Feeling healthy? Feeling strong? Yeah, Keeping strong. active? Yeah, staying active, man. You know, I got um, two beautiful babies I got to, uh, you know, look after, stay strong for, so. I yeah. completely understand and respect. Well, I don't yeah. completely understand because I don't have kids. But anyway, it's all good. No. Yeah. <laughs> what I do understand should, is should, the desire yeah. to want to stay clean and healthy for other people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna, oh, I just realized I'm still going live on this. I'm going to end this one. Go to www.twitch.tv slash apartment27. Bye. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, um, not just that, but I want to be in like a situation just like, wow. Well, I take that back. I don't want to be put put in a situation. I just want to be ready for situations or like, say I'm trying to put on like 20 extra pounds of muscle, right? Be like putting on like 190, 195. I want to be able to carry my whole family on my back at one time if I need to do that, you know, like, without, yeah. without any issues. Like that's on, like you like know. preparing for worst case scenario. It's like yeah, like what would it to happen if I had to carry literally all three? Yeah, of them? exactly. So I'm just like that's what I'm just trying to be ready for. It's not like mm-hmm. no specific, you know. No, that's actually like a good kind of like moral measurement, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Especially is for like physical discipline, like that yeah. kind of thing. And looking uh, good yeah. and feeling good is just the, you know. How is, they would you say it. that actually, well, actually, I like this conversation, but so let's keep going on this one. But like, so what would you say is your primary motivator for like working out? Is it like protecting family or would you say it's just like looking good for yourself or just like being strong or does it come from a place of insecurity from when you were younger because that's a little bit me <laughs> yeah it, it's actually got a it's a combination of all those things man mm. i mean i was i was bullied at a you know a young age um you know high school middle school um at the same time i've always been like fascinated with like superheroes and like mm. you know muscles and like you know wanted to be big and strong you know yeah. eating your spinach and your, your potatoes yeah. and stuff like that you know and um yeah you look good you feel good um some do it for vanity i mean it is kind of a vain thing too. i mean it's I mean, nice it is, to look good it is not it is nice to look good you know um i guess some would consider it vanity whatever the fuck um but i also feel like um it really kind of like challenges you, you know. That's a good point. There's a lot of um, discipline involved. I think that's a little bit a lot of people who are kind of lazy and yeah. who don't like working out and who like try to put it off. Like they use that as their excuse. They don't. They don't consider that when they're like, right. oh, it's just people. Because that's usually what they jump to is the vanity. <laughs> it's like, oh, you think you look so sexy with the muscles, blah blah blah. Your personality probably sucks. It's like actually. To be in good shape takes a lot of discipline. Yeah, and it's hard. It's, and it's, it's easy difficult. to sit on the fucking couch. It's easy to do that. It's very easy. But to do you know, and I you, do that often. But yeah, I also get off my ass and I try to put in a regular workout. And all you need is an hour. If that, I mean, you got twenty four hours in the day. That's you got true. one hour, like you can, can devote. Something. You know, I could be um, doing more cardio. I will give myself that. I should be doing more cardio. But I it, am like, and it's a, it, right it's a marathon to it. You can't yeah. rush it. Have your goal. You know, set your like three month goal, not six month, yeah. nine month, twelve month. Like, you know, um, stuff like like right now. I'm doing like a specific type of training and then i go into like boxing training for like six weeks and then after that i'm going to be more like on like kind of like the the bodybuilding aspect of it not so much like because i want to go compete or whatever just because i want to get stronger sure. and it's going to come with everything that i want you know i'm trying to be solid whatever so it's like oh that's something that i would commit to like for a year to like really like see you know because yeah. i've had like years of just like you know jumping around on different programs to try to see what's going to work best for you and you know like you experiment like different programs are going to give you you know a, a certain type of physique you know so it's all like what you're looking for but you sticking can't, to that too yes exactly because like, like the set. people give up when they try one thing they're yeah like, i don't like this i, don't, I guess working out's not for me it's like yeah. no you just don't like x or expect you know? like um, uh, uh, magic shit after a week you yeah know? that's and fucking that's up your diet or you know your yeah. diet is 80 percent nutrition don't even call it a diet it's a lifestyle you want to sure. look a certain way feel a certain way and even like taking like this too is like there's a one percent like there's a one percent of people who actually walk around with like fucking six packs like shredded whatever sure. like and not even like if you want to whatever but just in general period like abs period whatever it makes you feel a certain type of way i feel like it has access to certain shit da 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 whatever and then you can go into the aspect of like 
say people in our in our industry like we're artists like sure. we're musicians and like there's only so many people that who are um in our career that's making like millions of dollars or thousands it's or a like very really, small really percentage stable. People, exactly yeah. and it's kind of like, city this, like it's, LA. it takes discipline and focus and not quitting and not giving up and consistency and it's kind of like you yeah. can kind of put that into working out too you yeah know? it's like your shit comes with consistency yeah. nothing happens overnight there's no overnight successes it's like that's something that we always nights. talked about when we first started working with like apartment 27 because mm -hmm. if you uh, for those who don't know apartment 27 started in 2017 yes so uh that was when we like actually decided to uh, become a company and start putting out music professionally with like you know the actual label and publishing and owning the publishing and everything and it's only been very recently where we decided to branch out and do other stuff right but, yeah no i'm a I uh I think because I I can tell anytime I've fallen off the track with working out like like and staying in shape because I just feel terrible. It's that three days work. after that three days you get that downward spiral. Yeah, I've been there too many times. You can't do that. Yeah. Can't no, like I'm I'm working out tomorrow after work. Like that's mm -hmm. like jumping back into it because I was supposed to do it today, but I was yeah. I was hungover. But it's then it, then it's like if you think about like the most simplest shit, right? Like it doesn't even have to like you be like going to the gym or lifting weights. You can do fucking push ups. You yeah. can do push ups anywhere, literally anywhere. You're gonna go take a shit, right? You take a shit every day, so you can do push ups every day, right? You can do twenty five push ups, twenty push ups, ten push ups, whatever the fuck. Okay, sure. right there after you're done taking a shit, just drop down and do your push. I mean, okay, wash your hands. It's the bathroom. I, yeah, 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 yeah. Wash your hands <laughs> first, okay, before and after or whatever, you know, shit. They just do your push-ups right there, but it's just the fact, like, you have to want to do it, too. You can't yeah. expect to want this shit and you want somebody else to yeah. do it for you. I can't jump into your body and do it for you because yeah, who the true. fuck is going to do well, it that's kind of like, you know? I think that's, like, in essence, what they try, what is the the next best thing is, like, a personal trainer because they'll motivate you and stay on your right. ass. Like, when you're paying somebody to be like, hey, Come with me to work out. I'll help you do it. Just fucking do it. Yeah. Like, that's Accountability. Like the closest thing you can get to jumping into somebody and making them work out. Right. Like, and it's, and again, it's hard for sure. But like a lot of the, like my discipline with working out came from doing martial arts when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. I started doing it when I was like in sixth grade and all throughout until like I graduated high school. I did it. And it was like one of the best types of workouts ever. Just because, like, you were you were doing both like cardio and muscle building because you had to you had to be strong to right. you know do stuff, right. but you also had yeah. to like to throw people. You couldn't just be like you know what I mean. So, and I was a twig though all throughout high school. I was a very skinny guy, and I'm still a really skinny guy. Mm. But I used to be like 130 pounds soaking wet like in high school, and now I'm like <sighs> I'm trying to get back up to like a 160, 170, and then I'm fine. Like that's where mm. I want to go, and that's where I've been trying to lately. Yeah, it was 90 pounds at one point. Yeah. Yeah. soaking wet yeah man it's it's a lot you know but yeah i mean like doing it for your family too it's like man it's like you kind of take yourself out of the equation but you don't but it's like damn like, i want to be strong like be ready for like any situation possible so it's like yeah in case and you know nigga try to run up like you know i gotta do what i gotta do um, people are going crazy know, right yeah, now so. man so no, there's actually you know. been a, uh, there was a, speaking of like coronavirus and being prepared, like in LA, there was a, like a last week at one point, uh, the LA Sheriff's Department or something like started upping like police mm -hmm. just around the city. And I've definitely noticed cause I work, you know, driving around at least like North Hollywood. Right. And so like, I've definitely noticed there's like tons more police and I'm just mm -hmm. kind of like, wow, they really expect people to like try more shit, I guess, during this thing. Like, that's crazy. but more people are at home. So I don't know why people would think that's a, be a good idea. Yeah. Like unless you're actually willing to maybe fight somebody. Right. Like, this is, sounds pretty dumb. Yeah, pretty much. You that's, know what I mean? That's not, that's not smart. I can't pronounce your name, but somebody has joined us in the chat. It's like Piao Puith. I can't pronounce it. I'm not even gonna try. What, what's the? How do you spell it? I'll let you see it. <laughs> you can try it out. Pow Pow Pu with Kyrie. What? I have no idea. <laughs> Unless that's, that's like, the Kyrie from like Kingdom Hearts. If that's what you're referring Kyrie. to. Kyrie. Yeah. Kyrie. Yeah. <laughs> send the Illuminati thingy and some eyeballs watching wow. us. Wow. Okay. I mean, maybe they're making a meta statement about us. You know, like, hey, watch sure. out for the Illuminati. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool, man. Anyway.
Speaking of not having anything to do with that, we actually have a clip from that Wholesome Hussy show that just came out today. Yeah. I'm actually play. very excited to show this. Uh, this is from the second episode. Oh, it's the fruit. It's the fucking fruit. I'm sorry. You know the star fruit in Kingdom Hearts? You know the thing that they yeah. eat and they... You play Kingdom Hearts, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's the what thing? his name is. It's, like, it's a pow poo fruit. Right? Oh! So you know that? And then you eat them with somebody yeah, and you have that yeah, connection. Yeah, I'm a yeah, fucking idiot. Pow poo Kyrie! <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Oh, Yo! That's tight. Yeah. That's no, tight. I can't believe it. I'm sorry. Oh, food, Kyrie. I haven't played Kingdom Hearts since high school, and that's a shame because it's actually a really great game. It is. It really I haven't played the third one, one yet. I haven't played it. Dude, yet. no, I haven't played it. I either. said I wasn't gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> Told myself no. Yeah. But uh, anyway, so yeah, we want to show off a uh, a clip from Wholesome Hussies starring Alex Prude and Christian Goforth. It's now up on YouTube. Go to YouTube.com and just type in Wholesome Hussies, and they got the first two episodes. So, uh, boom. Yeah. Hell yeah. So. Please enjoy. Enjoy. Ask to dance first. They wouldn't just like come up behind me and start dancing. Which is really nice. That's, yeah. That's nice. Thank that's you. really, really nice. Thank Do that you. more often. That's really nice. Yeah. Um, so some guy was like, oh, wow, that dress looks like really good on you. Like it fits you really well. And I was like, thank you. And then he walked away. And yeah. <laughs> it just, just. A little booster and then that was it that's all i need i wanted like a little attention a little hey you look real good and then and then just walk away yeah not trying to not trying to dance not trying to give me a drink just like just thought you should know and then that's it and that's the great. only way that interaction could have been better is if he had given you a 20 and then walked away <laughs> but you this know is, what this is for blessing my eyes yes for bless <laughs> <laughs> my offering ma'am <laughs> Mike's hot. So all right, that was a clip of wholesome hussies. It was a it was a nice wholesome moment. I like I picked because it was a moment of uh, of, of somebody s almost hitting on my girlfriend, but backing the fuck off. And for that gentleman, I offer you my respect because he didn't pursue motherfucker. <laughs> no. Which is a compliment. Which is a, which is a nice compliment because he just went up to her, complimented her, and then walked away. Yeah, and I was like, off. Yeah, which is actually fine. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Sticking around is the issue. Yeah, I don't give a shit. It's like yeah. you can you can acknowledge that my girlfriend's hot. That's right. fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But fuck off. Don't ignore that I'm here. Yeah. Don't pretend like you don't see me. Right. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that was a little clip from Wholesome Hussies. Go check that out right now. YouTube.com. It's Live, YouTube. baby. Yeah. That's another Apartment Twenty Seven production. So you know, we're gonna be coming out. out with more shows too. Which is pretty crazy. And we got music coming out too. Everything. We're still putting stuff out. We're not letting no sickness stop us. But we are yeah. making sure everything's sanitized. Yes, I, and taking the right precautions. As you can see, we have masks for days everywhere. Boom. We got, got like, masks in my pocket. Yeah, he's got his. David has his. My girlfriend gave me some. That's actually what this one is right there. She gave me that one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to clean it later. I'm not entirely sure if we can use the filters that are in them though. Yeah. <laughs> They might be made of fiberglass, which is really bad to breathe in. <laughs> Watch out for that, by the way, because people say you can use vacuum filters, but some vacuum filters are made with fiberglass. Yeah. Your, uh, your wife actually showed with the a bandana. with the bandana, posted yeah. a great video that actually the Surgeon TikTok. General posted the day after. That's like crazy. He posted a video of him doing the exact same thing that you and your he wife He had a did. red bandana. I was like, what up, blood? <laughs> 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 Like, yo, that's crazy, man. Like, <laughs> but that was great. Yeah. And it's true, so go check that out. <laughs> man, that's wild. Go no, there's always there's always ways you can protect yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. To any degree. Like bandanas are like thirty percent less effective than like a mask like this. Mm -hmm. Um uh with a filter in it. But there's but it's still better than nothing. Wear something like yes. this. You know what I mean? And now, if you, yeah, if you're going to the store, wear gloves too. Now you might be saying, well, you guys are fucking doing this podcast and we're like not wearing masks and shit. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you might be judging us really hard right now. Well, fuck you. No. I, I mean, no. Before he got here, I sanitized all the equipment again. <laughs> I sanitize multiple times a week anyway because of everything going on. I actually work with the elderly. I gotta. 
You're a dad. You gotta. Yeah, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and I kind of had a general rule this entire time where I'm not going to see anybody that I haven't seen in the last like. Yes, now, now that like that's weeks. the fucking key. Oh, and man. if they and the other qualifier, because David and I were talking about this one, was the other qualifier is if they go out a lot too. So if like if oh, I found man. out that like my girlfriend, for example, started going like just to sit, went to a party or something, which mm-hmm. I, she's the last person who would in a situation like right. this. But if she did, like I'd be like, hey, Kristen, I might not come over for a bit because. Like, <laughs> but that's the kind of idea is that right oh my god that there was that clip of that lady who was just kind of like i'm covered in jesus's blood and i was like first of all that sounds crazy and second of all that's not what he meant <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> when she was physically covered in blood no she, she was there there was a clip on circulating on social media today of this uh these people were packing mega churches in the south and stuff like oh, that man. not just in the south actually but a couple places and you know those things filled with like too yeah. many people, and uh, they were going anyway. And then this, the camera crew went up to this woman and was like, "Why are you doing this?" And she was just kind of like, "She's like, I'm fine. I'm covered in Jesus's blood. I'm protected." And she, and he's just like, "That, that." But what if you get sick? And he goes, "She goes. I go to the grocery store every day. I go to Walmart. I go to Home Depot every day, and I got Jesus's blood protecting me." And then she just was like, "That's it. That's final." And I was just kind of like, "That's not what he meant." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think um, crazy people video. gotta just, just be just a little, have a little bit more common sense. Like, you see what's going on right now. The numbers are not like decreasing. Like, yeah. like we get, we get what you mean, but let's 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 be real. Like, you know, stay at home is like this is this is some serious shit that's going on. Like, let's like come on, yeah. um, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, yeah, still, no, sure. yeah, still have faith, but you know, I mean, Jesus Christ Himself said, and it's in the Bible, pray in private. Yes, like He's and like even there's nothing wrong with going to yeah, church. There's nothing obviously. wrong with fellowship, nothing but just that, like but right yeah. now, just, just with everything, you, it's just time to take time with Him by yourself. You know, yeah, and like that, you know, fellowship at the crib. That and that's the way to show community of caring. Like you yeah. care about your community is being like, hey, I don't want to get you sick. Yeah, you man. I mean? We didn't. We didn't touch each other. We yeah. did not touch each other. This is as close as we've gotten to each other this entire time. And even so, I've been keeping my mouth kind yes. of in the general away from you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just got yeah, sanitizing the shit out of everything. Everything. But yeah, so I'm all ready to segue into this next playlist. If you are, let's ready. do it. So uh, this next one. We got coming up for you is uh, one of my favorites. It was actually one of the first few songs we started working on on a record called No Man's Land. Oh. It was a very happy, fun song. I hope this makes you feel wholesome. Hope this makes you feel warm and cozy because this song is called This One's For. Or anything. There it is. Been a bit since I've actually this one. Whoa. Enjoy, everybody. For my niggas, I like y'all like some brothers. Let's run up to our sisters, cause we all got a mother. Now tell my mama I miss her. Can't wait to kiss her a hug her. And I won't wait till it's too late to tell somebody I love her. Turn up one time with me. Turn up one time with me. If they ain't here to smell them Can't hold them up to their noses No breath not to inhale them Told me to stop getting loaded So now I feel like a Belgian But even though you ain't here I still feel like you near me So I just gotta tell you we need to value our fam as much as these smartphones Put them damn things down, they tearing apart homes Eagle boost the water spirit, man, and you dies Chasing loose ends, sacrificing your family ties No more We'll take my love ones for granted Cause they do for my soul what the sun do for the planet Shit you do for the gram, yo, it's just doing your damage Shit you do for your fam is what gives you an advantage So when you in their presence, show them love and appreciate them Don't wait till they dead in jail or when y'all inebriated Millennium movement, the world is consuming That turned up music, that metro booming 
No shade to Metro Boomin', I just rather hear him groovin' at my family reunion Cause I'm at the age where I'm over the club, over the ice, over the hoes, over the drugs I'm on the search for what's real, seen all the superficial women saying they bad bitches Niggas shootin' pistols, what about our families, the chills we raised Don't think y'all understand me, man, too litty and lazy Don't get it myself, man, cause still I be blazing. I just focus on the love, cause the feel is amazing, word up yeah, the feeling's amazing. I just focus on the love, cause the feeling's amazing. Hey, this one's for my niggas. Holla y'all like some brothers. Holla y'all like some brothers. Get your love to our sisters. Because we all got a mother. Tell my mama I miss her. Tell my mama I miss her. And with the kiss or a hug, oh, wait till it's true. Tell somebody I love them. Turn up one time with me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, turn up one time with me. Yeah, right. Turn it. Love, is that finally hey, happening? Turn up one time with me. Turn it. Uh, harder. Wait. Uh, yeah. Turn up one time with me. Turn up one time with me. 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 Turn up one time with me. Tell them my name. Yeah. 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 Good girl right there. Right. Right. Hey, Take hey, one hey, time hey, with me. Yeah. Summertime, no time to hurry. Time's passing, no time to worry. Got my girl and good friends around. Summertime, no time for turning down. Yeah, yeah.
Got that good. Fingers through her hair, holding her hips. I miss her eyes, I miss her lips. The secrets that we used to share, all our promises, I keep, I swear. Now she's gone. A part of my soul until the end. Now, when I talk to her, I can't go half and half. Say something I regret and take it back. You can't be like this anymore. It's gotta be how it was before Or nothing at all No more can I feel your cold Just the thought of you sharing your bed in your head with another Keeps me from moving on
Staying sexy in the bedroom while the mics are live now, baby. Boom, bam, bam, My we are back. Talking. I can't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. Hey, mom. <laughs> hey. <laughs> oh, man, I hope you guys are enjoying the playlist that, you know, are put oh, together. I feel pretty and, proud of this uh, one. Yeah. I, uh, I, don't, I think I explained this at the beginning, but I'll explain it again. Uh, the idea for this one was uh, Wholesome Hussies for the celebration of the new show wholesome hussies that just dropped today yeah, yeah. Two episodes. so i tried to pick songs uh, jesus christ right on the show i just burped on the show you're excused i had delicious quesadillas that i loaded with jalapeno onion mm, and green pepper good yeah it's one of the best ways to get your vegetables oh yeah just load them up but anyway uh, yeah, fully loaded i picked songs that i thought would make you either want to snuggle up with someone or have intercourse yes make love sweet love and yeah. Passionate intimacy yeah. with your loved one, you know, significant other. Yeah. You so know. if you guys are watching this and having sex, good. Good. <laughs> you know, you're sexually active. Here's That's a playlist for you to be sexually active with. Yeah. You know, we're all grown here. We're all adults. You know. Yeah. It's healthy. I've got active. two kids. Been married. That's proof. For, That's proof you're sexually yeah, active. <laughs> yeah. No. You know, we get nasty. You well, know, that's proof. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta clip that part. Yeah, we, I, we get nasty. <laughs> yeah, I gotta make sure I clip that part. Yeah, my bad. No, um, perfect. Yeah, man. I get that's it. That's what you said in your vows, right? That's yeah, <laughs> that's what I said in my vow. I vow to always perform the highest in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, aka. I will always perform. Get nasty. For you. Yeah. Get nasty. Yeah. I must have beat that ass like a drum. <laughs> like a gong. <laughs> <laughs> but now, nah, man, like, that's that's how you should, you know, be with, like, your significant other, man. And I feel like this is, like, now is, like, the time to, like, you know, you know, get closer, you know, like, and in, in closely, closely invest in in uh, your relationships, you know. So, you know, you plan for, you plan for the long term, you know. Obviously, in order to get to the long term, you plan those short term goals. Mm -hmm. And once you're there, you know, you keep building, you keep growing. And then that's just like kind of like um, I did this uh, feature for um, Mac Rod, you know, shout out to my, my fam. Oh, yeah, um, that's right. And uh, that's kind of like, you know, what I was like to kind of talk about, you know, you, you find somebody that like see the same vision as you, you know, you, you, you know, you'll be on the, the same grind, you know, find somebody that has similar interests as yourself, y'all chasing the same goals, the same dreams, or in the realm of the same thing, and boom, y'all get to work, and it's, y'all, y'all, it's easier and faster to accomplish. Yeah, you know, that's you're, what I you're, like, you're kind of hitting the nail on the head, because I think that there's something that a lot of artists need to get over is the competitive side of things. Because mm -hmm. once you realize that it's just easier to put your talents with somebody else's and just right. do that, it's it, it yeah. works out. Because then, like, you get to stay in there and watch something that you built together. Yeah. And, oh, you won't get all the money and you won't get <laughs> yeah. of the credit. That sucks. But you can be like, I do. I did it with this motherfucker. Yeah, and then know, they say the same the, thing. Like, what about the message? Like, what, did, what about your, you know, your creation? Yeah. Like, you know? And that's how you spread it. And like that, like it's, I know it's a, it's, it's the cheesy teamwork thing, but really yeah. teamwork does work better. Yeah. You're, <laughs> like telling, you're telling stories together. You collab, yeah. you're collabing, you're telling a story, man. There's stories out here that yeah. we're trying to tell through music and we're trying to, you know, tell through film acting and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. And if you're true and if you, and if you're true to your, um, yourself and the people that you work with, Everyone will have the opportunity to be a star, yeah. which was something I learned at Second City. Was that like, man? Yeah. Shout out to Second City. Shout out to Second City, Hollywood. Shout out Jamie Moyer. Jamie Moyer. Yeah. Nancy Hayden. Yeah. Hey, hey. ABD. ABD. Yeah. God, yeah, we could go down the list. Celeste. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but no, Ithamar, like Ithamar, Rich Baker, motherfucker, one of the funniest people. I've ever yeah. Ever I did improv with him once, and I was so scared. Oh, Ithamar? Yeah, but yeah. he's so good. Yes. He just carried me through the scene. And I was yes. like, oh, wow, you're so... And I was like, you're making this so funny. And yeah. I'm not doing a thing except gawking at you, being Man, amazing at that's this. That's wild. 
He managed to make me look good, and that's oh, he's so good. The power of yes and. I'm not, I'm a good, I'm not bad at improv either, but I was a little yeah. starstruck, I think, because I really respected Mark. So yeah, me like, too. Doing improv with him was weird as fuck. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> that's a trip, man. But it was fun. I definitely had a good time, and I would do it again. Me too. Especially now that I have more confidence in myself. I keep my plaque on my wall. I'm just like, ah, Second City, great. I got my uh, my t shirts always hanging above my bed. Nice. I don't wear it because I just I like it too much and I want to just like, fold it in my mm, yeah. put away respectfully like yeah, in yeah. a prized case. Yeah. Mine's a little on display because I'm kind of bragging a bit. I, I did lose all my Game of Phones uh, flyers though. So I still have one hanging on my wall, and I'm sure yeah. I have one laying around okay. somewhere. Well, let me know if you <laughs> if I find another one. Yeah, because that was like the greatest show. Yeah. No offense to uh, Party Boat, you know. What were we just saying about competitive? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's all love, man. You know? No, like it really was. I, although I got to admit, and I can say this now because it's been years. We had three shows. It was uh, Game of Phones, which was Christian in my show. Hey, hey. It was, and I, again, man, what a time. I'd yes. touch you with a high five, but we're not touching each other. Yep. You can uh, do an air high five. Boom. Uh, <laughs> someone's trying to call me right now. Oh. Yes, it is. Okay. Well, everybody, we're going to put on a playlist real quick and get everybody going. Uh, with the next playlist, starting it off with uh, one we played last week as well, Jalen's Drop It Low. Drop It Low, baby. Drop it, drop it, drop that thing down to the floor, floor, move it smooth, let's get in the groove, no need to rush this feeling, we're climbing higher than the ceiling, but you got that pull, you got control, obey the toe. I give you so All I wanna say or do is drop it low Drop, drop, drop that thing down to the floor drop, 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 drop. Let me see what it does Drop it low, drop it low Drop it low, yeah, drop it low Drop it low, low Baby girl, I wanna see you drop it low, yeah Take that thing down to the floor Let me see what it do Drop it, drop it, drop it Oh yeah, I'm bringing back this old school feeling Let me sing a song for you one time Slide down the pole for me one time Oh yeah, baby No, you drive me crazy You make me want to spend my cash I love it when you drop it fast Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah
Leave me a message and I'll get back to you. I'm gonna 
We yeah, are back. We are everybody. back. Thank you so much for tuning in. That was a uh, music people life. Yes, and the <laughs> wholesome hussies playlist. Yeah. A little bit of wholesome, a little bit of hussy in there. All right, but uh, so we had a good time tonight. I'm talking about things you can do to try to stay healthy yeah. in quarantine. Uh, and making sure that, hey, since you're home, you might as well work out. You don't really have any excuses. Pretty there's much. <laughs> yeah, there's always something you can do. Yeah. So, um, diet's a big part of it. <laughs> nutrition, that's 80% of the battle. Um, you know, be be conscious of what you know what's going in because um, that's going to – you know, determine what comes out of it. You know, you get the most out of it. Like, you're working so hard. Why sure. not put the, you know, fuel your body with it needs, you know? Yeah. If you're driving a Ferrari, you're not going to put, like, unleaded, gla- <laughs> unleaded gas in it, you know? Like, no, yeah, um, that would <laughs> be. Yeah, you fuck your engine up. <laughs> so, yeah, because um, I knew that. Yeah. I know about cars. I have no fucking yeah, idea. Nah, me either. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. But hey, what do you put in a Ferrari? Somebody, please let us know. Cause yeah, premium. Is it premium? Do uh, they get that diesel? I don't yeah, know. like what? What would happen if you pick the premium shit at this? Because I just use regular and lighted. That's like, yeah. Okay. Damn, I always wondered that. Like, well, like if I put it, premium in my shit, is it gonna is fuck this better my shit gas? Up? Yeah, like yeah. I don't understand. Have I really been cheating myself with the eighty-seven and not using the eighty-nine? Like, just like or getting the that twenty cent increase, like whatever. Yeah, like, like what the hell? I, is this? I just but we, or. Would it fuck up my car? Yeah, like it's like, damn, I've been using eighty seven my whole life. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, what am I, I gonna do? I don't know, cause I don't mm. know. Again, I don't know anything about cars. I spent my entire life trying to study music and production and right. entertainments and acting. If I wanted to know more about cars, I'd be a fucking mechanic. Yeah, David actually had a really good idea once of just of like just taking like a one semester kind of crash course class mm-hmm. in uh in that so, right like. David. Hey. All right. Uh, so no, so that was kind of everything we covered. Again, this, you just got to make sure you're staying fit and healthy. And uh, again, make sure you check out the brand new show, Wholesome Hussies. Wholesome Hussies, starring Alex Pruitt and Christian Gofor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I'm actually really excited for that. It's been a long time coming. We started recording episodes actually last September. And like nice. the first two episodes that dropped today were like kind of pilot episodes. Like we weren't, we were, we were kind of feeling it out, seeing what it would be. So we wanted to put them out at the same time because they really, but they have such of the heart and soul of what the podcast right, really blossoms right. into. And they're sort of like the next three episodes are fucking great. Like the way <laughs> like episode four starts, I just like just decided to watch it the other day just to yeah. see how it is. I was like, hey, is this still good? Nice. I turned it on and I was just like, oh my god, this is so this fucking, fucking awesome. Great. Yeah, it's like, it's really fucking funny. Like, the way my friend, the way Alex starts it off, it's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's gold. It, it really is. But, uh, and yeah, That's no, uh, so I hope you all watch the first two episodes. Boom. It's great for the fucking funny and wholesome and uh, a little bit sexy at the same time. So, yeah, go check that you, shit out. Thank um, you for actually tuning in to uh, our second episode, People Music Life. Absolutely. It's crazy. We're on the second episode, man. That's wild. I know. This is really um, crazy, but uh, yeah. I really like this. I feel like we've already found an easy groove. Yeah. Because this is kind of what we do anyway when you come over to work on music. Is like we work on the thing, and then we just kind of sit around and shoot the shit anyway. So yeah. it makes a lot of sense that we just, like, why, not, why not show people and then talk about music stuff? Right. Other Smooth. cool projects. Hopefully next time, too, or maybe not next time, but soon we can try to have guests on. Like David can pop on for a bit, maybe. Yeah. Have a... Uh, you know other people on yeah her. like bringing different artists or different people to talk about only you know, after yeah. oh well, I, obviously after, only after, after yeah. yeah i mean Kristen could come on too because she's somebody that i've seen right yeah. like, like freak. she's like the only other guest we can have right <laughs> but like, fuck we'll that start, uh, people yeah we're now. gonna gotta do start doing the remote recording man no it's not a bad zoomy, idea zoomy, and if things zoomy. get yeah, and if things get more serious even you should stay home. You know what I mean? That's something we even talked about today. We debated on whether or not you should come today. Yeah, I debated on that too. Uh, yeah. My wife was like, uh, I don't think you should do that. Like, <laughs> well, um, I'm going to figure it out. And um, yeah. I mean, I mean it makes sense. Shit. Everybody's justified to be a little nervous. Yeah. But no, uh, but again, it's just stay cautious, stay clean, stay, stay cautious, fit. Stay clean, stay sexy, stay, stay fit, sexy. you know. It just do them push ups right after you know, <laughs> wash your hands, you know, um do some sit ups, you know, the old school foundational shit that people take it.
take uh, for granted, you know, push-ups, yeah. sit-ups, squats, lunges, Yep. you know, I jump rope. If you don't want to run, go get a fucking jump rope. That's something that you it actually mentioned awesome. David, doing. It's like getting a jump rope and doing it. Jump oh, ropes is awesome. Christian awesome. That. that was Christian there. My bad. Christian, you mentioned getting a jump rope. And so me now. And now Christian. Jump so rope. now I'm going to get a jump rope too because everyone's telling me to get a jump rope. It's great cardio. Yeah. yeah. David's telling me to get a jump rope. I got to get a jump rope. You know. But nah, man. You know, figure it out. Eat healthy. You know, get get your grains in. Your your fruits, your veggies, your your, your carbs. You get carbs. You know, get some yeah. fiber in there. Fiber. Yeah. Make sure you poo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Pooing's you know. important, man. Pee and poo, but wash your motherfucking hands. Drink like, water. Yes. Drink so Stay much water. Stay hydrated. Now the goal is to really drink like a gallon a day, but I mean, you know, let's be realistic. We can, you know, strive for it, but. <laughs> You know. It's sometimes a little hard and you pee a lot. Yeah. I'm peeing a lot of times throughout the day. But anyway, thanks again yeah, for yeah. joining us. Uh, I really appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Join man. us next week for another episode and another episode of Wholesome Hussies as well. So yeah, yeah. Three of both shows, actually. That's kind of crazy how that ended up coming on at the same time. Yes, indeed. All right, everyone. This has been Music, People, and Life with Christian J. Lord. Have a good one. See you later.